Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to perform a Don't Starve Together cave setup. For this setup you will need two servers, one to act as the overworld or the master server and the second to act as the caves or slave server. You need to clearly identify which is the master server and which is the slave server. In this example I will be using the server on port 11009 as the master and the server on port 10999 as the slave. Before making any changes to server information, make sure both of the servers are stopped. The first thing we need to do is open the server that is going to be the slave server and go to the command line manager and create a new command line. You can use anything for the description. We've used caves in this example. Then change the master shard to caves Tick the shard checkbox and click the save button. Make sure you select the new command line so that it is run when the server starts. Next go to the master server and click the configuration files button and then open the text editor for the cluster.ini file. Go down to the shard header and change the shard enabled setting to true. You also need to change the default cluster key to one of your own. We've called this one Streamline Test. You then need to select the master IP, master port and cluster key information so that it can be copied to the slave server. Don't forget to save the changes you've made to the cluster.ini file. Once you've saved the information on the master server, navigate to the slave server and click the configuration files button and then open the text editor for that cluster.ini file. Go down to the shard header and change the shard enabled setting to true. Then delete the master IP, master port and cluster key data and replace it with the information from the master server and then click save. You can now start the master server and by clicking the web console button you'll be able to see whether everything has started properly. As you can see in the web console, the master server is starting correctly. Then, you can start the slave server and check that as well. You can now see that the slave server has connected to the world and your cave setup is now complete. If you have any issues, please check our knowledge base first and if you're still stuck, lodge a support ticket and Streamline staff will be more than happy to assist you. We hope you found this presentation useful. Goodbye for now.